gentlemen, 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 you bet your ass, Giuseppe D in the house. And then we got Mikey Bear down cuz in the prize picks hat that really looks it's good on you. This hat slaps, bro. It Love does. This hat. I mean, what they stepped up done, the merch game, bro. They stepped up the now. I don't know how many people are buying merch from them, but regardless, I mean, the if merch they could, is if they could con- if they could continue to just keep making it for the purposes of us getting it, that would be preferable. I have no issue with that, Mikey V. None. And then you know, you want to talk about merch, Joey Cold Cuts in the Smart Water Q Zip is good luck, no Bob. I didn't know if I love it, if I loved it, or thought it was outrageous. I think I love it. I actually think it's low key. I got one for you too. I was commenting. Wow. Did, did you really? Yeah, I got one for you. In a large? I think large, maybe medium. We'll have to see. Do you know what I got for you, Giuseppe? I got master's gear for you. Mm. It came in. Good for you drinking a beer, by the way, today, Mikey V. I actually got a little. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I need it. I got a little uh, tequila pineapple here going today. Whoa! Yeah. I missed the boat. You know what? Lately, I, I love. I was going to add an edible before the episode, and I well, I, I didn't want to be that's, too outlandish. That's a different direction, but th- I mean, that's by all means, Giuseppe. If you want to take an edible, you go and you take an edible. <laughs> I actually, maybe, maybe. I wanted to take an edible the other night and I didn't know that you actually took the edibles home because we took one before we went to Rayo's. Yeah. Yeah. I, I brought them home because otherwise I buy them and then I, I leave them there. I have one and then the whole thing gets used. Yeah. Mike I V, I'll leave you out of this because you're not a weed guy by any means. But no. one of my favorite things to do is go with Giuseppe D. Mm-hmm. Get, take, take an edible. Get me a little five milligram, nothing crazy, maybe a little 10 milli. Mm. Head on over to Rayo's. Let that thing kick right when we sit down. <laughs> yeah, you just hit the smorgasbord. I mean, it, <laughs> is it not just tremendous, Giuseppe? You know what he used to do, which is sick and twisted, Bear this Down, is, is he used to, before before we were, you know, permanent add-ons and just providing him with nonstop content on the, oh, freaking, on the podcast, <laughs> he used to actually, each podcast was actually a whole production. Like he'd have bits and different things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Sometimes he'd have writer's block and he wouldn't know what to do or like what to come up with. <laughs> right. So he'd fucking lace me up on like 20 millies and th- bring me to a restaurant and I just start spewing all sorts of stupid shit. I got I, be there I, with a pen and pencil and just start, you know, pen and pa- paper and just write and everything. I got to tell you a big concern I have already right I, off the bat. Tonight. I'm getting right the same off the cons- bat I'm getting tonight. The same concern. There that is a little bit of a tickle in the Demar vocal cords. There's a little tickle there, and all this party, all of this, no hangover city. But it's, it's no hangover. Up. It's just I understand, but it sounds like it's catching up to the old boy. And this no, is the last no, week we need you to not be fiddle. in tip top shape. We no, need I feel you great. in tip top shape this week, Joseph. I feel I, really good. I really, I feel really good. It's actually kind of got like a raspiness. It's, it's actually kind of sexy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I I mean, mean, uh, for yeah. yourself, I suppose. <laughs> I think it's kind of, kind of unique right now. You know, I kind of like it. Oh, it's definitely unique. It gives me a little bit of an edge. You know, what's amazing. Bear down. We just, <laughs> uh, we just, I just traveled with him. It was me, him and Jet going to Dallas. And I think mm-hmm. I might've mentioned it on the last episode. Going to an airport with Cutsy is like an airport cold cuts is one of the more like he's 10 times even more out. Where, like, even Jed said to me, like, when they got there, I was like, you know, how to go with Joe? And he goes, it's hysterical, but like, he's got a ripe with everything from the time you know, he's beefing with TSA. Yeah, the people that check in his wow, bag. they're really rude, Bob. That guy this morning was very rude to me. TSA sucks, bro. Yeah, they yeah, do, TSA. but you know they what? Hate they hate their lives, they hate their job. I can't blame them. They have a terrible job. But you know what, though? At the same time, it's like it's like getting your car towed. You know the guy's gonna be a prick. It, but what are you gonna get? Where are you gonna go going back? I was reading a text message on my phone today, Bear Down, and I realized I was next in line, okay. So I came to go up to the to the to, to the to the teller or whatever the guy who checks your passport or whatever. Yeah, the teller. And yeah. Apparently, they were taking people from the other side as well, mm-hmm. and so it wasn't my turn. The guy just gave me major attitude. He started yelling at me. And I'm like, you know, like you know, what 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 the hell? You know? Teller booth has gone to hell. <laughs> Matt, you know well, Joe, again, it's Ma'am? just this is the, 
Joe, <laughs> madam, madam, Ma- uh, madam, Joseph has come to expect um, the highest quality of services, regardless of the venue and arena he goes into. He expects to be treated like, you know, he, he expects he Disney, Disney quality customer service <laughs> everywhere he goes. From people who certainly don't work in any kind of whimsical or magical environment like a like a Disney World. People just, give people who work in the service. worst of worst industries. So he's got beef with a, a girl who works a parking attendant uh, <laughs> yep. megaphone yep. speaker and beef with TSA. And everyone knows TSA is the absolute worst. You, and you know and the, the delivery driver, the girl delivery driver. Yes. Let, let us not Shauna. forget about her. Shauna. Shauna. Yeah. Jed, yeah. if you could actually. I gave uh, Shauna a real well, good tip, Bob. Babe. You know that. Uh, I gave her a $20 I, uh, tip. There's no, Joe, there's no <laughs> way in hell you gave Shauna $20. I tip well. That's one At, thing well, I always well, do. But no, and I know you do, but I'm telling you right now, there's no way you gave Shauna a $20 tip. There's no way. I'm pretty sure I did. Can I ask you this, Bear Down? Mm -hmm. Do you tip Uber drivers? Yeah, I. uh, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say there's 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 definitely been times there's definitely been times I don't think I have, but I do feel guilty, and I I think I I have tipped them in the past, especially if they're always if they're right on time and there's no issues at all with the ride. I think I've given like a general like a ten dollar just a flat. A flat ten dollars. My only body expects a tip nowadays. You know, uh, I went into the gift shop, Baradon. Tell me what you think on this gift shop. Gift shop in the hotel in Dallas. Okay, I went to buy little Altoids. You yeah. know, just so I had fresh breath during the during. Should the have gift. got some fucking lozenges <laughs> while you were in there. All right, that's neither here nor there, Baradon. But the point <laughs> is, fucking halls. Ricola. You done? You done yeah, over I'm there, Baradon? Done. That was a, you <laughs> opened the door for that one, cuts. Bottom line is I go to the to the thing to sign it to the room. Yeah. And it's it's it's, it's like three dollars. And there's yeah. a little thing that says gratuity on Yeah, there's a tip line I'm on like, everything. What am yeah. I tipping? I, 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 I totally agree with that too. Like what? Stephanie. And I left a dollar. Shame on me. Like I left it like the 50 I always tip I always it. wonder too, like when you go even to like the airport, you go to buy something out of the airport. The Hudson I News. wonder it asks you how much like you want to tip 15% or whatever. I always wonder when you click that if they, they see, it? see it from their yeah. end. Oh, and we'll must. never know. They must. I would, I I would assume that they must. I don't know if we'll ever know. <laughs> you know I, I, I even going to a restaurant, but not sitting down at a table, going into like a pizzeria. Take and you out. pick up and it's a takeout order yeah, no, so and you're good. going there to pick it up, mind you. So now I've spent the gas money driving over there and I'm not saying, but I've inconvenienced myself. I didn't make you deliver it. I'm going to pick it up and there's a gratuity line and it's just like, where do well, we draw no, the no, line Domino's, here? they tip you $3 if you pick up your own pizza. Yeah, I didn't know that, but I don't, I won't. Yeah, I don't. I know you don't, don't like partake, Domino's. I'm don't not a big in. advocate of Domino's either, but at least they're they're acknowledging Joe, that you're putting the work in. Joe, I got destroyed for it on the happy hour, and Bear Down was one of the culprits of destroying me because Fat yeah. Perez was eating. Huh? By the way, Joe, oh, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you are you gambling right now? Be honest no. with me right now. Joe. No, there's no gambling. It's NBA playoffs. Well, so, are you so gambling? That's a guess. Are you gambling on no, the NBA I, I playoffs? I swear to God, right? there's no, there's no, there's I. I considered putting something on the game tonight on the prize picks, but I, I'm there's no gambling. You can bear on, you can check the account. Bear no, down, no, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I actually, I don't think he has Bob, and I don't think he I've is. been really he good. Really has been Bob, good. you know He's this. Been very too. good. I got I've it. I got on... it. I will tip my cap. I have seen. I've never seen somebody just. He was. He was so deep in everything, and then just one, he just one week he's like I'm done, and I was this like, is, and he wasn't really you, losing. My mind, I don't something. think he was losing. You were on like a cooler, really. You were just done. I didn't uh, didn't do well in March Madness. Well, he oh. took a beating in March Madness. He had a he had a Vegas insider um, who knew. The, oh, the college and, guy, yeah. And this guy, guy was he, a had, he had a he was yeah, an yeah, absolute yeah, fraud. I think that he was guy, sent Bob. down by the wind. Yeah. <laughs> He had a Fucking Vegas insider that, that knew it he all. Was so he, was, excited he was like 0 for 5 out of his <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. He was so much. You know, he was so excited to tell the story. Bear down. I met this old guy. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. This guy knows what he's talking about. Bear down. He's a legitimate insider. 
was an absolute cooler from the second tip off started. There were 25 games the first day. He might have hit two of them. He was an absolute cooler. Um, Bob, I do. Got, by the way, I was in. I was in bets for Bobby. If we want to be, you were, if, hey, I was. Look, I was riding, but I knew when you said this insider. Nobody knows more than Vegas. I mean, no, no guy's a bookie, but, but I mean, he, he knows. I, I will say this Giuseppe did go, he went cold turkey on the gambling, and I, I was really happy That's for incredible. him because he was in deep and then all of a sudden just stopped. Uh, like, just yeah, right. Stopped. But this is why I tell you when I stop working, I'm gonna go heavy on the gym, and if I put my mind to something, I can, I can switch gears. But I really can, but he went and it was really good. I mean, even going out to dinners with him, you get the full Giuseppe, which is just so yeah. when he's firing at dinners, like there's times where he has me where like, I have to ask him to stop because he's making me laugh so hard. And I'm like being yeah. obnoxious laughing and you just get a present full Giuseppe with that being said, he, and by the way, when he stopped gambling, everybody had to know it. Like anybody who would mention a bet, he would say, Nope. You know, I'm retired. You know, I've well, been that's retired. What you do, and, so you don't get involved. You don't have it, people bringing you in. Like, it feels great. Yeah, he, it's been really nice. He relapsed. And Cole it's not a relapse. It was, it, it was it, not a relapse. He relapsed, Bear Down. No, it was he, not a relapse. This is how there he relapsed. These guys it, who are faithful, who were putting a lot of money in on, on a bet, and they said, you know, we they had like thousands of dollars, and they showed me the bet slip, and they said we'd feel really, really good if you if you would be riding with by us. By the way, yeah, Jet, and you know what? Jet. I ride, so I put a hundred dollars, and by the way, it hit, Jet. and that was it. <laughs> Jet, of course, it hit. Yes. Jet's in the living room right now. I the video. He's I put a couple up. more things after that Jet because Jet knows damn well the, the whole world had to know that Giuseppe wasn't gambling, and like he loved to say that he was retired. But yeah, yeah I'm retired. Did. You know yeah, how yeah. he relapsed. He I'm like Denzel Washington, the equalizer. I got called out of my retirement for a quick for a quick hit. And I'm <laughs> to save to save an adolescent Russian girl from a prostitution yes. ring. Okay. Something along those lines. Yeah. <laughs> great, okay. movie. Yeah, oh, great, great movie. Yeah, great movie. Great movie. You gotta hear how he relapsed. To me, if like if you're gonna relapse, you do like a NBA playoff Lakers money line, something like that. We were out having drinks. He had an over on Reggie Jackson point totals at 20 and a half. And <laughs> it's got to be a prop it. bet. It's got to be a prop The way bet. that he, he justified it. it was like, he's like, he's like, Bob, like, I don't want to let down the followers. Like, that's, yeah. who would I be to let down? Yeah. But he hit. And I, I think for sure you have a bet on the playoff game right now. I mean, you can check. Okay, I, I look. I, if, Joe, you, if you, you say, can check. I'm, I'm, guy I'm, is dedicated to his craft. By the way, you could say, Cutsy, I do see you sipping the Taco Bell soda, and I want to ask you, take me through your Taco Bell order today. I wasn't going to get it, but they still have the nacho fries special, and I can't, I couldn't turn that down. So I did, did the nacho fries it? box. Um, no, I picked it up on the way home. Love that. In the Uber? They're bringing back the pizza, I think, aren't they? No, no. I had to go to work to run payroll, and then I came home, and I had to eat something. I knew we had the pod, so I just quickly grabbed the nacho fries Oh, box. yeah. Talk me through the nacho fry box. Oh, it's great. You get the taco, the uh, Doritos Los Tacos in mm-hmm. there. You get a uh, five-layer burrito, and mm-hmm. you get the nacho fries, and I think you get, like, chips and something else. It, it's really good. But you had to go with the side, too, like an extra item, no? Yes, I did. What did you go? What did you go? What do you think I did? Item? What do you think I did? Uh, knowing you, yeah, um, you probably went with either the cheesy gordita crunch. You can cash that. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, tell you, I <laughs> no, know. My, about I know my I Giuseppe. Mean, no, but see, <laughs> normally I, I mix it up. Normally I would have done like a crunch wrap or something. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but no, mm. I thought if you did it was just box, too much food. Yeah. It was too much food. Yeah. The crunch wrap is like. It's like a bountiful plethora of food. It's too much. I'll tell you this. I think Taco Bell has the most fun menu out there. Yeah. You can have a different experience every right. time. I totally agree. It's my favorite fast food. and It's not even close. Yeah. I mean, look, it's hard. It's hard to debate that. I think one for me, I mean, as much as I always am faithful to Chick-fil-A, if you look at the amount of times in the past six months that I've had Wendy's compared to Chick-fil-A. Wendy's is really good. Bro, Wendy's hits yeah, Wendy's hard. Really I mean, and if you're Bear Down, then Burger King's your favorite place to go. I bet you Bear Down has. I, 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 ne- I never, I never said that. I, so. I, well, I mean, the guy is the advocate for the king. I mean, I mean, the chick king. 
the chicken. <laughs> I, I still believe that's one of the best sandwiches out there. Oh, Joe. God. You know, you get enough calories not, you get on that thing. You could. Burgers. I haven't had one in, in months. I haven't had one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen a lot of burger. You know what? I haven't gotta... because because I because you guys, again, you expect me. I told you it was a once in a while thing. I just think it's a phenomenal sandwich. You can twist your stories however you like. <laughs> I, I don't eat fast food. I, I, it's not something I eat. It's not good. I, it's well, good no, for like football. Well, I, I football that, season's good. I, yeah, I was going to say football season. I feel like you find bear down eating more fast food during football season. Football season is very stressful. Why. Football season is very stressful. It is. It is <laughs> very stressful. It's now, Joe, stressful Joe, the retire. You're going to come out of retirement for football season, right? Whoa. I mean, come on. Well, he. Oh, oh, okay. I thought we were. Going I in a different think direction so. Yeah. I mean, we I can't have, have in, you in retirement bro. during football season. You're going to fuck if, up our whole operation. Bear down. I have nothing in my way right now. If you think that by the there's time no it's way time for kickoff, there's no way, there's no way. I, yeah, that's, I that's, do feel really enlightened without having to worry about any lines or, or, or any bets. Besides, no besides if Reggie Jackson's playing. <laughs> yeah, well, that if, was a charity. That was a charity stripe there, Bob. That was all that was. But I feel really enlightened. I feel if, like a better person. I feel like I'm coming back to the community because I'm get, less stressed. I'm I'm nicer to people. I I I don't, I'm not losing my shit nearly as much. Like you're getting a better variation of Joey Cole cuts. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, look, I'll I'll be the first to tell you I love with cutsy without gambling. It's it. Mm-hmm. Although when you're in a game with them and you have to game, with oh, them, it's, it's so, so much, much fun. fun bro. It Come really on. is so. Much I mean, there was nothing better than than some of the games. The, some of the like the Sunday night games and the Monday night oh, games we had bro, action on. I mean, the Gambler's <laughs> Digest group. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were at God. our peak. So we were really at our peak. football season. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll we back. we we have the Yankees thing going, and that's great. But it's yeah, never... it's not the same. No, it's not the same. Of course not. Baseball. You know what? You know what? Cutsy. You know what? Cutsy did. It's just classic gold cuts. We're we're boarding the plane the other day. Like going to Dallas and Gutsy, mind you, every step of the way with him from check in to TSA mm-hmm. to boarding, like there's a problem every step of the way. He's got to be with somebody. There's a lot of problems. So we're boarding the plane and we're in like row 30. So like we're going all the way back and like Gutsy's mm-hmm. all annoyed. And some guy, like in a row or two before us, just goes to put up his bags and he's taking like a little bit longer than usual, like to put his bag. <laughs> And Kotsi turns to me so loud, he goes, I got to tell you, big dog. He's like, this show better pop off because I don't know how much longer I can fly public. <laughs> like, Dude, first off, Kutsi, I got to tell you, though, the, the, the entire, entire plane can hear you. It's just Second such off, a shit experience, though. It, it, it is. is. Flying just not sucks, it. bro. Flying and by the way, sucks. you know what really pisses me off is we're getting out of the plane today. And guy from two rows behind me bolts out. So he's standing. So I can't even stand up. So he's standing when you landed, you're down. talking about, he's one of those yeah, like early, early aisle like, goals. Yeah, can yeah, you just yeah. do so whatever? Stu- I literally sit in my wait, seat. I don't even move. I just wait sit in my seat. Wait your I row move. is called. The what only, are these people trying to get yeah. two rows ahead? You know what I do do? Like I, I complain about these people and then I find myself doing it. Mm. Like something that I do is if I'm boarding group six, mm. I'll board with boarding group four. And when I go up to the agent to uh, scan my boarding Safe, pass, no. I give the best hello you could possibly imagine. So that if mm. they see it, I'm like, how are you today? You know, how are you doing? So that if they do see it, they, they wouldn't say anything. send you back? I swear to you, Joe, honest mm. to God, I'm Scott undefeated. Locked. If I did that, they would send me back so fast. You'd have, you, you know, I would be call back TSA the and he'd have to go for a screening. <laughs> I got to give you one more. I got to give you one more cold cut story for the weekend. We, what um, is this? No, no, it was a joke. It was a great weekend. There was a lot. Of, you look like you guys had fun. Oh, we had a blast. We had a blast. By the way, good. the steakhouse we had was one. I mean, Cole, yeah, look good. One of the best restaurants oh, I've ever been to. No, um, really? For, for Cole Joe to coming say from that, you, that's, yeah. yeah. I think the vibes were so good. Everybody in there was like someone famous. It was like being yeah, like part of the mean? underground society. No, do, yeah, do you know, forget, forget about that. The food. The you food was excellent you too. But the vibes. Like, they had these giant cakes they brought to the table. Like the cakes were like this uh-huh. big. Do you know uh-huh. what and I loved they, about it? A fog lamp and the fucking table would start fogging. Yeah, how was the food, Joe? Well, I'll tell you it this. was really I was good. Gonna, I was going to talk food. Yeah. We we um, it's called Nick and Sam Steakhouse. All the cowboys yeah. eat there and everything. Yeah. What I loved about it is. You know, with steakhouse, you do like the normal, you usually do like a wedge, then you do, you know, maybe Love bacon the and then the yep. sides and the steak. 
we had this massive tray of sushi. And I saw that. Bro, that was sushi awesome. was mm -hmm. not. Now I took one of the guys' oh, dinner. This is a bad look. Yeah, this was bad. Bob this and I ordered, like, we had a porterhouse and we had a cowboy, like a tomahawk, to mm -hmm. share between me, Bob, and this other guy, their agent. Now, the guys, the two guys we were golfing with, they don't eat steak. So they ordered like a plethora what? of sushi for their dinner. They, the oh, one guy said, I might have a filet or something, but they weren't going to be eating. Vegetarians? No, they're just not big. I mean, they're young guys. They don't know any better. They don't know what they're doing, but they're really good guys. But anyways, so we're sitting there and not it's before good, steaks man. come and this big platter of sushi comes and we had only ordered one roll out of like 10 that's on right. this platter. So I'm making sure I only take like one piece out of our roll. And I look over and Bob's like shoveling fucking sushi down his trap. <laughs> Bob, you thought like, this was just like a, like a shared pla uh, platter? Yeah. Yes. And I look bad. at him, I'm like, Bob, that's their dinner. And he's like, oh, Jesus. And he went back <laughs> for another one. Well, at that the point, you're already, you're already, pot, cheese roll you're already pot, com you're pot committed at that point. You might as he well went just to the bathroom, going. too. And by the time oh, he came oh. back, I mean, Half three quarters of gone. his dinner was gone. Yeah, it was. That's bad. like the worst thing ever because at dinner you go to the bathroom thinking maybe when I come back the food will be on the table. Not right. only was this food on the table, but the food <laughs> wasn't on the plate. That's really bad. like a nightmare scenario. Yeah, it was bad. It was. I was embarrassed. I, I'll be honest with you. I was. I was in because I. Yeah, I was this, really. This shit happens. It, it's not like I just took like one or two. Like I was scarfing <laughs> this down. Meanwhile, I had a, a friggin' tomahawk on the way. You know what I mean? It, it, I'll be the first to tell you it was it was a pretty bad look. But where I was going with that is that these guys they're very they're, they're incredible. They're called the Good Good Golf, and they mm -hmm. I mean, these guys bear down. They make a killing. Like they yeah. we, we base a lot of the stuff with Bob the Sports off of them. But on YouTube, you make more money if you don't curse. So we don't get nearly what they do per thousand views because right. we curse, and YouTube gauges all that. So they're very PG. And the whole time building up to this, me and Jet were talking to ourselves like, these kids are going to have no idea what just hit them when Cutsy comes onto the course. Like, I, I can't imagine that their channel has ever seen this is a, anything this is, a like this. this is a man's man you're going to be interacting with. The type this of man that, that built the Eiffel Tower out of steel and brawn. <laughs> so we go off and they had us tee off on the 10th hole rather than the first. Okay. Cutsy goes into the ferry. Cutsy ended up playing incredible. But the first hole, our navigation on our cart is telling us a certain yardage for the first hole, when in reality, we're at the 10th hole. So Cold Cuts thinks that the, the hole's like 150 yards. yards away. In reality, it's like 200 yards away. So he takes a lower iron at it, and he hits a beautiful shot, but it ends up being about 50 to like 75 yards short because the navigation was wrong. I was pissed. And he threw a, like, you're not supposed to curse them. He's like, you know, this fucking car, why the <laughs> fuck? Would it? And Joe. he goes on an absolute rant and I'm just cracking up because they don't curse nothing. And How do you they not curse? Them? How is that possible? I because get they don't it. Make the bad shots. Well, yeah, they're unbelievable. But oh, they're I, good uh, golfers. Oh, they're, they're unbelievable. incredible golfers. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But, but, and also too, what the Jet was telling me that I didn't even know for YouTube, like that's why they make so much money per thousand views because they uh -huh. don't curse and YouTube mind. And Cold Cuts went on a rant. I mean, he lost it. It was yeah. unbelievable. Well, the thing funny. that pissed me off, Bear Down, is they knew that we we're on a different hole. So they saw that I was taking the nine iron and they were like kind of laughing to themselves. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they had like a six, seven iron and these guys can out shoot the shit out of me. So I'm hitting it. I'm like, oh, that's a real good one. And then it just goes like this. Plonk. It just died. It just died like a fart. It was completely dead. And then the, I'm like, I'm like, what the hell's wrong with the GPS? They're like, well, we're on the 10th hole. You, I think you have it circumnavigated for the first. And I'm like, we're in a match here. You know, you know, you can't even tell me that. Like, that's that's horse shit. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you this: it, it's a big collab for us, and it'll do some monster numbers. It really will. Um, we ended up having a ball. Um, but there is another thing that we have to get to, and shame on me if we don't get to it. Katsi, you have not made the announcement yet. I mean, I think you did it on the Patreon, and that's really been it. We are headed out. Um, to Mikey V's 
this weekend for what is going to be special. Of course, I still do not have the hotel booked. No. Um, oh my god! Yeah. Are you kidding me, Bob? Yeah, the hotel's not booked yet. Uh, yeah, you got your flights. Be... You got your flights booked. The flights, the flights are booked. booked. Flights are booked. Flights, flights are booked. booked. Okay. We may uh, have, have a place that, to stay, that hotel. That hotel. That, that hotel happens. Uh, from what F- Ever, from what Fat Perez said, there's like three rooms left. Oh, so, oh geez. yeah, I gotta get. I would. And I, I would. I would. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. so bad. We're gonna end that. up staying at the Ritz now. I'm gonna pay an arm and a leg. Uh, I mean, you deserve the Ritz, though, Joe. You know, I do honest. deserve the Ritz. Treat yourself. Be... Treat yourself. Yeah, I've never been one to not treat myself, but yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a special, special weekend. I mean, I am so and excited. What are you we saying, didn't Bob? Even, I didn't even get to say it last week. We didn't even get to it, but Bear Down pulled some strings, and he knows how much I love Rayo's Hollywood, and we didn't even finish saying last week, Bear Down got us into the New York City Rayo's which is impossible <laughs> to get into. And Bear Down called in a couple favors to get us into that. Lar- a couple large favors. <laughs> Big old favors. Big I don't old need favors. to do anything crazy when I'm there to be able to pay up for this, do I? No, Joe, just enjoy yourself. Don't worry. We're in, what a guy, guy, Joe. What we're, guy, we're, we're, in, we're in very good hands. So it's a big celebration for all of us. Bear Down just got a new house, which also means a new, new cave. So you got a new man cave coming his way as well. Um, and most importantly, Giuseppe D, if you could tell the fine folks here of the Brilliantly Dumb Show, the main event that we're going to be celebrating, Mikey, if we get a little bit of a drum roll here, please. This is long overdue for the. Well, I mean, this is. I mean, it's 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 pretty special. This it is going to be. <laughs> <it's> gonna, <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say don't be modest, but then I realized he's not going to be uh, modest. Remember oh, who you're talking no to, Bob. Here, this is my official retirement party because uh, as of Thursday night, I will no longer be in the industry. Thank you very much. And, and bottom line is, I, I intend to go out with a bang. And I am not <laughs> going to stop. Baradon, I hope you're ready for the fireworks because I'm bringing them early and I'm bringing them often. Mm. And, 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 you know, I really hope you don't have any you know, responsibilities to our dear, to our dear love, Holly. Um, you know, I know Saturday is going to be, you know, Saturday, Sunday is going to be. Holly's going to be at that- dinner with us Friday, Joe. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> understands kids. that Saturday is for the boys. She understands that. So I'm just saying, like, the bear but down she's be a also she's up. also going to be, you know, she's going to be wined and dined very nicely on sure. Friday with us at Rayo. So, so I, I mean, she's never been, trade. she's never been to Rayo's. I've never been. It is the bucket list type of thing for people who don't understand the magnitude of what it is to get in there. It is very, 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 for whatever reason, extremely, extremely difficult. So we have that going Friday. Saturdays for the boys. It's understood. Uh, Saturdays, <laughs> Saturday is is an assembled crew, the likes of which I I've I've I mean, not it's seen off starting often. lineup for I've the not seen off the yeah. one, the guy it's at Rayo's that I love. I saw him. We talked to the um, the manager there at Rayo's Hollywood, and she was telling us how exclusive it is, and that she can't even get in there. The guy which is at insane. Rayo's, she she's works been there for twelve, 12 years. years. That's years that's, that's disgusting. The guy disgusting. at Rayo's, and this sent chills down my spine. He said, "You ever play Augusta?" I was like, no. He's like, Rayo's New York City is the Augusta <laughs> of, of the Lord. food industry. And are was, you going to ask for a t-shirt? I, she said to me, if things are going really well and the server now, What does that you, mean if things are going well? What does that mean? If I, I think it means if the server- got to put these on are, a good performance. Yeah, if, if these, are, these are rough around the edges servers like i think they don't give a shit you know i'm used this. to that i'm used to right that. So that's I fine love you i want a shirt plate, it would mean the world to me to get a shirt so if things are going well with the server i will absolutely ask for the shirt Mikey, give you it's your reservation so i'll make sure that things are going well <laughs> if they are i i want a shirt Mikey, so he's gonna get bad. banging on the wallet i'm there, gonna but... ask i'm gonna <laughs> ask if things are going well which one I would t-shirt three hundred dollars yeah yeah <laughs> I would pay whatever it took. I would pay whatever it took. But what are you um, gonna wear? That? Are you gonna like hang the t-shirt? Bob, bro, he uh, goes to the restaurant every night. He would wear that really cool. t-shirt every <laughs> single day. Yeah. He'd wear that t-shirt. It's, it's like, like tell you what, he'd be, be Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you yeah. then just pull them out when you have a disgruntled customer. Bob comes from the back wearing the T-shirt, just spinning the dioramas, you know, like just. Cute. I don't know what to expect, because from what I understand, you don't even order. They just bring. I don't understand no, how the ordering said, process is. Well, whatever you have, you have. But what yeah. if they bring you like mussels or seafood and you don't like seafood? Oh, uh, you're up shit's creek, I suppose. Jay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't. Come. Good thing I eat everything. That's yeah, really well, funny. that's all of us. That's all of us. So it's we'll going to be so special. I mean, because it's one thing I could go to Rayo's Hollywood all the time, which I do to get into here is going to be special. But speaking of special, I mean, for cold cuts to be leaving the hospitality industry after dedicating really his life to it. And people don't understand. There's been fans that come in and go see cold cuts. They don't understand that the guy has dedicated his life to this. I mean, he works non-stop constantly so for yeah. him to be joining bob the sports full-time and leaving hospitality it's a big fucking deal and yeah, awesome. another thing they don't see the guy would work 12 13 hours till 2 3 in the morning wake up at 6 7 in the morning go film bob the sports then go to work and he's been doing this not just for a year when bob the sports right he's been doing it for my channel when it really wasn't even anything on youtube for years ladies and gentlemen we now interrupt the brilliant dumb show to let you know that the brilliant dumb show is brought to you by none other than our good friends over at athletic greens ladies and gentlemen if you want to get your health right i know a lot of people think physically mentally as well athletic greens is right for you it's lifestyle friendly whether you eat keto paleo vegan dairy or gluten-free all their products work. They're phenomenal. Supports mental clarity and alertness. Supports better sleep quality and recovery. AG1 is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you could do every single day, whether it's the powder, whether it's their vitamins. Do it right with Athletic Greens. Right now, and yes, I said it, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong. Take it from your boy, Bobby Fairways. In the meantime, we are moving on. So for Giuseppe D, I got to tell you, Cutsy, this is more than deserved. And we're treating this like a big dip because really what you're going into now is retirement. And you've seen it from me. I'm in bed at nine o'clock. Uh, you know, I don't do a whole lot. It's it's really it's gonna be an your... adjustment period for sure. I I I I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I'll I tell you might you just better be. I tell you what. You, I months. tell you what. Right now, you better. I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on you, Joe, because yeah, I you... think that I need to make sure that you don't go off the hinges. Yeah, I can see true. you. I could see you becoming like you know like a, like a member of Motley Crue once <laughs> once you start on Bob Bill Sports. You know, I could see you becoming you know I don't know like like. uh like uh, what's his name? This Ooh, uh, Tommy Lee. Event. Tommy Lee. Uh, uh, no, Tommy I'm gonna Lee have Jones. a little retirement tour. That's for sure. But then you know I'll settle down after that. Do you know what you need to do, Joe? What I want for you more than anything, you need to catch up on 15 years of sleep that you've lost out on working in the hospitality industry and sleeping as little as you've slept. I just want you to sleep. Record the. We'll record the videos. And just sleep. It, really, that that's what you got to catch up on more than you're retired at the age of 35. Yeah, well, technically, you still have a job, but you're it's retired. Not really uh, trust me, take it from me. You're retired at the age of 35. Now, Barrett, I will say I'm going to come in this with guns blazing. I, I, my, 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 my social media channels are going to go through the roof. I'm, well, I'm, I'm I mean, coming. There's in no with other. It. There's no other way to go. You have to go all in. I mean, you're we're all in type of guys. You're and it starts this dabble. weekend. The retirement tour starts this weekend, and the lineup we got for Saturday is uh, it's like it's an all star. It's like the team USA basketball team. Yeah, I'm like, you, yeah. I mean, you got every character in the book. You got Bobby Boy, you got me, and Bear Down. Then you throw in a little Perez who was driving down from Virginia. From Virginia. Yeah. Then you throw in <laughs> with no qualms whatsoever. You throw in Nikki Smigs. 
Yep. And then you throw in at some point Jerry Don. I mean, yep. well, that's can't so imagine what the content's going to be like. So we have the Yankee game Saturday. What I look forward to, the Yankee game is going to be great. It's going to be awesome. What I look forward to the most, to be completely honest, besides Ray, party bus. Course, not even that. Sunday barbecue with all the boys, Jerry Don, Mikey V, Cold Cuts, Nikki Smith. That to me, that I look forward to that the most. Now, I have a be... question: What time is the what time is the barbecue? Because Perez is trying uh, to golf on Sunday. We don't got it's TB. It's it's TBD, guys. TBD, whatever time. Perez because, is like, I can get way, as a tea time at nine a.m. I'm like, Perez, I don't think you'll be alive. Uh, yeah, this yeah, no, this and my my guys are pushing so hard for the golf. <laughs> D- Dicky boy, Dicky boy wants to golf so bad. Perez they is can, contemplating well, it. They can like, do that. Cool, can ain't... we do nine a.m.? I've been and I was like, I don't get hangovers, so I'll be alive. I'll be there. But I, gonna I be, don't. We're going to be so banged up after Saturday. Oh. Sunday morning, Oof. the only thing I want to do is get a nice East Coast Taylor Bagel. ham egg yeah. and cheese. Yeah. And I just want yeah. Cuts wanna needs that too, Bob, he by does. the way. He does. He's got to experience that. Cuts, if, Cuts you never if you want to go yeah, off the golf, but I really think Sunday, you don't even worry about it. We'll go to a bagel shop. It'll be you haven't had a Taylor ham egg and cheese on the golf course. Well, no, look by all means, you want to go off golf. I know what I'm doing Sunday morning, and it's that. There ain't no question. Are we doing sausage and peppers, Bear Don? What, yeah, the, well, I gotta. We gotta. Uh, the menu is to be finalized, Joe. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta put see some nice doing. spreads out, bro. Yeah, we'll get a nice spread. I don't Very want nice her spread. to expect by any means that she needs to put out a big spread, but just knowing. Well, Bob her, says she does a hell of a spread, Joe. It was one of the she most does. impeccable spread. She I does. had something thanks to Holly V that I had never had before, and I know this sounds What's bad. That? The stuffed bread I've never had. Oh, those stuffed bread. My yeah. first time yeah. ever having that. Man, are you watching Sandlot behind you? That's a hell of a movie. I got to tell you, television, there is nothing on, man. There's nothing on. There's, <laughs> There's nothing NBA on. basketball on right now. What are you talking about? I think you're betting. What, what, what two games are on right now? I, I just see the Sixers game and, and playing <laughs> the Raptors. But now the next game coming up is going to be Golden State Denver Denver Nuggets. By the way, That's going to be a good one. I just want to add, I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. I have never oh. had a harder time cheering for one of my own teams scumbag than this eggs. next between Kyrie Irving you know, like Kyrie. and Kyrie it, it's you so see what he did last night oh, Bear I saw I saw I saw telling people to suck is you know what yeah I'm I know bird on the fucking yeah. people and the fa- like I mean <laughs> he, he shot, just, he shot it's, out. it's it's very hard to root <laughs> them man and I do I want to see them win but you see the photo of him, Bob? He's like these, this, giving the these, finger. To these Bob. athletes today, some of them, they're just so soft, man. And Barkley and Shaq were talking about it on the post game. They were like, you know, Barkley's like, man, come on, man. These guys, they got to toughen up. They got to tell you, it's just terrible. It's terrible. It is. And he's uh-huh. right. He's right because they're so soft. They're so soft. Even like, like I watch Kevin Durant on Twitter and like I follow Oh, he's nuts him. on Twitter. Bro, he's like just oh, clapping a... back at fans. Like, why even give them the. Yeah. If, yeah. if we're able to, <laughs> I mean, we ignore instagram comments and stuff like that because you're just not going to get anywhere with it well not so much bear down bear down likes to clap back oh well, as those, <laughs> as those, yeah as does cuts a little bit no Kotze i stay was- out of the i stay out of it 90 percent of the time i bite my tongue bob you i know, really man. do i 90 percent of the time i do too because it's not possible to answer everybody i mean but it's just ask, ask uh, what was his name that johnny rock and what was johnny schmerda <laughs> 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 Bear down brought him in on a live and just roasted him. The guy did a 180. He went from trash and bear down to asking him to fucking follow requests. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice guy, Johnny Schmarter. Nice guy. Fan of the pod. Now they're pen pals. The, <laughs> the, best, the best was Mikey V on a on a happy hour. You gotta have it. Oh, Bob, it that guy so. fucked. That was different though, Bob. He was out of line. Well, he what happened? Line, I never heard this different. story. What bear happened? Down, different, bro. Bear down mentioned something about the bills, and he wasn't even ragging on them like no he didn't even say anything bad and this guy acted as if bear down was like taking a shot at the bills and went hard at it bear down insane, bro. and this bear down oh. teed off on We've this guy seen in well the past, cuts not for nothing not for back. nothing the, the happy hour you're a paying member of the patreon if you're in the happy hour bob is the host 
And I'd like to consider myself basically a co-host of the Cap- <laughs> Happy Hour. I think that's a fair assessment, right, Bob? Totally. So he's a, he is a Buffalo Bills fan, and we were having a discussion. Now, this is not like commenting on social media. This guy basically said it right to my face because we're on camera just like this. And I said, you know, my favorite memory of the Buffalo Bills was the 1993 AFC Wild Card comeback when they were down 32 yes, points at exactly half time. And they came back with a backup quarterback, Frank Wright, because Jim Kelly got hurt. They came back and beat the Houston Oilers, led by Warren Moon. And this guy, legitimately, his response, Joe, was, I could give a fuck less what your favorite Buffalo Bills memory was. Just like that cutthroat came right for the jugular, which on one hand, I got to respect <laughs> this guy. Cutsy, like cutsy, cutsy. Bear down. I look over at Bear down. I'm like, oh boy. And Bear down like leans back in his chair, <laughs> him, and then just lets this fucking guy. There hasn't been many it. times in. in, in I, I, we'd never seen the guy before in a half. No, happy and by the way, I'll, I don't even care that he's a paying Patreon member. He was obnoxious. He was yeah. obnoxious. There's not many times in our podcast history where we've kind of back Bear down into a corner. But there's been a couple times, and he when he gets backed into a corner, he's ready to lash out. I mean, he's got the fire oh, that can light a thousand man. villages when he comes in like that. It's 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 just like a burning inferno that just comes emitting I, I, from him. I hate to say it, but one of my favorite things <laughs> ahead, on the sorry. planet is when Barrett Allen's pissed off. It's it's one of I think my Bob favorite. likes when I get you going. He, oh, best. you think, it, Joe? It, okay. He enjoys it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think you're right, pal. I think you're right. Um, <laughs> fellas, fellas, we got a top five to do. Okay. Top five. By the way, I'm just going to say one more time and then I'll stop. I'm watching you, Joe, and I've seen you bet on game after game after game. He, he does he, seem very he, attentive. Bro, when you were telling that Bill I swear story, to God, I'm not betting. I find it so hard. When you were telling that Bill story, he was watching the screen. Right, he and, was, and, which is know, very rude. If you say I didn't want to prove I, myself. I, I, I do agree. Yeah, I do agree. I, Hold I, on. That's why I keep the TV in the I could never. I would never. Bro, that's why much. with Cutsy, when he's not betting, it's the best. You get full Cutsy. I know when he's betting. This man, I, I didn't want to do this, Bob, but I'm going to show you that I, there's not a single bet on my history. Now, I want to, by the way, that. by the way, you're going to show your, your bend account. I'd like to see prize picks as well. I, I, I don't have any money in prize picks because I don't get a thousand dollars a week to play with. Like, you know, if you could please monitor to go what there. you're going to be showing on the, on the all animation. right, here's, here's history. Here's history. Look at this. Can you see this? Cover the top, uh, cover the top thing. Thank you. Look at that. There's zero. Okay. Zero. Right. Okay. That's across that's the history, board. But, but go to open wagers. Go to open wagers. <laughs> where do I go for that? Where do I go for that? <laughs> where do this I is go? beginning of the week. Well, this is well, Monday, no, Tuesday, no, 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 Monday, no, no, Tuesday no, no. Wednesday, Thursday, no, Friday, no. Sunday. Let's go to open wagers. I don't Cassie. even know how to do that. <laughs> Hold on. Katsi, go to open. <laughs> You know, you know, there's no button for open wagers. I don't know. I don't. What, what did I design? Okay, the, here. Look, the look, 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 look. Cutsy, cutsy. Go to open wagers. I, Amount I at risk right here. Okay. Amount no. at risk. Cutsy. Zero dollars. Let's cutsy. move it over to the other way, Joe. We can't see. Move it. No, the Bear other down. way. Help me out here. Zero you know dollars. To... Yeah, zero. Zero. It's zero, balance. Bob. That's fair. Fuck you. That's fair, Bob. Zero okay. current balance. That's now, fair. can I, can we just see prize picks? Yes, Jesus. <laughs> you know, the interrogation here is out of control. Okay, if you say, if you're willing to go to prize picks, this I can is live Bob. Bob, Bob got him under the prize picks right now. I'm telling you, I'm a change. Open up prize picks. I'm <laughs> opening <laughs> prize picks. You know, this is sick. No, 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 no. You don't have to open up prize picks. Just oh, because now, now he realizes that he's you're innocent. You're been innocent, called. Joe. You're innocent. You're, you're, innocent. you're, 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 you're innocent. You're clear. You're clear. By the way, I do like, like, Cutsy with the, the raspy voice. I, I get a kick out of it. Okay, now where do I go? Pri- You're the prize picks king. Where do I go to show? Go to my entries. <laughs> By the way, folks, Bobby Props is going to get you free. Oh, this, do- that's what this was the whole time. Okay, look at this. Open, open entries. Open clear. entries. Zero dollars. Whoa, clear. look at that. 5,001. Have yeah, nice they count every single nice. dollar you bet for the last five years uh, and make it sound like you won five grand. Folks, when I really with have prize it. picks, Bobby Props gets you a free $100. <laughs> oh, Go ahead, sign up. Uh, Bobby Props, <laughs> prize picks. Uh, get signed up today <laughs> for the free $100 golf bet in all types of Absolutely wagering, parlays. Ridiculous. Bob. Um, go, but go. gentlemen, I'm a changed man, Bear Down. You can, you know it. And yeah, I'm absolutely. absolutely, I'm a changed man because the top five that we have today is a top five that I wanted no part of. Oh, Bob's done. 
Um, because I I'll be the first to tell you I know nothing about it. But to your guys' credit, you guys have wanted to do top five wrestlers. There's been a lot of comments about people wanting the top five wrestlers. Give the people um, what they want. And I I said, okay, you know what, fellas, you want the top five wrestlers? Let's do it. How do we want to go about this? You want me to start? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think that would be I think that would be so great if you I'm gonna get from. buried. I'm just gonna so get bad. buried. No, I'm, no, no, you never know. Well, you're not, not a wrestling with fan, the, so people will know that. I'm not going with the right. popular pick. I'm doing I'm doing <laughs> what I remember. He's do the five now, this, is very, this is very similar to my top five chips because I don't like oh, chips that so much. So, no, so, but that's you don't not like wrestling. Fair, but why Joseph, you don't like wrestling? I don't like chips. But you know, well, I kind of see what he's going with. That's you know all I'm, I'm saying. Guy. I'm not a but chip guy. Going. Bob's not a wrestling guy. I'm not a chip he gave guy. Gave those veggie so, chips, Bob. That was the worst pick I've ever heard. No, so it just goes yeah. to prove he doesn't eat chips. No, it was the uh, not the veggie sandwich chips top that he gave. five did pretty well though, didn't it? It, it <laughs> sandwich top five. I think he, I think he might have won. I think he might have won. He might have. Okay. But but I had a PB and J you know, tonight, by the way. It was not the pick. Holly not made a PB and J. That was a popular vote, just like Bob's SpongeBob was a popular. But, vote. but Holly made fair. me a putter, peanut fair. butter jelly sandwich tonight. I I ate one literally tonight. For I haven't dinner. had a so peanut it's not butter like, jelly sandwich in four no, years. No, but Bear well, Down, you, you do yourself not, a favor and make one. Bear Down, you did not have. You had it as a snack. You did not have it for dinner. I had it at dinner. <laughs> I had it at dinner. It wasn't what, the main fare, but I had it. What at was the main? What was the main fare? Well, we ordered out. What did you have? What did you want? I, I had a wrap and that wasn't enough. And and, well, and, and well, well, peanut well, butter and jelly sandwich. Was it, was it a wrap from a fast food spot? No, 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 no. Local pizza joint. And it's called the Viking and it's cold cuts. This is unique. You want to talk unique. French fries, chicken franchise, and provolone cheese in a wrap. It sounds insane. It sounds Please, insane, I, but let me I tell you. you. I, it's Fucking I do trust Barry now when it comes to food. I think he knows. I miss my food. great home state of New Jersey more than ever than when Bear Down sends his casual Monday lunch that I can only dream of. Yeah, it, it's bro, the Italian food. He the posted. stuff that he sends is even that pizza that you had the other day, Bear Down. Yeah. What was that? The the, the grandma? Pie? Oh, oh, that looked amazing. Yeah, that, that, well, so that pizzeria, that's like the only pie that like we call them for because it's like their thing. And it's so, so fucking that's the one thing I when I'm in New York, I want to I want to see your like your go to pizza spot. That's you're going to exp- you're going to experience many even things. um your boy Dickie from the group chat <laughs> in New yes. Jersey sent like even Is that the Cuban? casual. No. no, no Cuban. No, 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 no. The, the big Cuban. This guy's hysterical. The, the mad Cuban is not involved. Louis, I think you're no, thinking Louis, of Louis. Louis, from Louis is not Cuban. He is. He is oh, lovable he is, Louis. He is a thousand percent Italian. If that's lovable Louis, is, I can't wait lovable. to meet this guy. Um, yeah, Louis but yeah, best. even they sent in the group just like a casual chicken cutlet sub, and it just looks yeah. so damn. Good. Oh, that was uh, Mike, my, uh, DJ Mike Ladonna. Bro, sent that. it yeah. looks so cutlet good. with potato and and yeah, yeah, bro. Oh. Bob talks about a home fry like it's a fucking pot roast. It's bro, bro. One of the best home fries I have ever had was with Mikey V at that steakhouse. Frankie and Johnny's. Have you ever seen somebody put down more home fries in their life? No, bear down. No, bro, <laughs> no. Was, it was like it was basically like fuck the dry, it. fuck the dry <laughs> aged steak. Eighty dollars steak that's in front of me. Give me the well done home fry. That's so I could get the steak out sick. here. I can't get the home fry out. They here. just don't make them like that. No, they just don't. They no. just don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, boys, let's get into our top five. We really have enjoyed the banter today. I'd like to go, if you guys don't mind, if yeah, you're, if you're against it, no problem. I'd like I to mean, just go one to five, like my top to the bottom. That's how lost I am with this. If you sure. want me to go the other way, no problem. I mean, I don't know why you get an exception on the, on the okay. route that you take. So see, that's, <laughs> the, that's the only comment I needed to now go back to the other. That's all I needed. I mean, yeah, he's but Bear Down didn't know chips. He didn't go one to five. That's true. He definitely That's didn't true. know chips. What's well, good for the much. goose is good for the gander. I tell you what, the Tostito scoop got a lot of public support. Oh, that's so oh, It got a lot of public support, though. By the way, it got Bear a lot Down, of public You get three comments, and it's a lot of public Yeah, exactly. Bear Down's yeah. Like, yeah. I got like a dozen people. It's true. I'm saying that they call it a clubhouse. No, no. And Bear Down couldn't admit the clubhouse. I'm with the Instagram CPAs here. They count all the numbers, folks. I sent you like 10 10 transcripts of a clubhouse. Where he went is right. Bear Down will get like a few DMs supporting it, and then like five hundred people just ragging on him, and he'll be like, you know, I gotta tell you, 
The voice of the voice. The voice of the voice. <laughs> really <laughs> looking out. Man. It's like, bro, you got yeah. buried. Bear down. Bear down's like the guy from Game of Thrones, a man without a face. He just likes to change <laughs> the, the, the narration. Great show. It is coming back, show. coming back this year. Joseph. I can't wait. It's going to be I great. And by the way, you know what else is coming back? I don't know if you watch it. It's the Better Call Saul, the new episode, the new series. I st- I tried watching it, Joe, and it was so slow. The ones, the oh, first season I watched. I yeah, I know. I gotta, I gotta, uh, comes in. We're really, we're really disturbing Bob now because Bob's been trying to fire this top five out. <laughs> he's he forgot he's really, name. really. He he's like, are you fucking guys serious now on the tangents <laughs> about the shows? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, Bob, let's hear your top five. You ready? Let's hear it, Bobby. Okay, uh, number five, give me John Cena. Give me okay. Cena, number five. Okay, okay. Um, well, known. well known wrestler. Number four, go ahead and lock me in for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Okay, number He's three. So yeah, absolutely. Number three, go ahead and book me for The Rock. Fair. Number two, go ahead and book me for Hulk Hogan. I mean, Bob, what are you? What are it's you a great doing? list. Really? Yeah. Number yeah. one, book me for Rikishi. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's he really. He used to do the thing that I remember where he would stick his ass in, yeah, 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 in yeah, yeah, your yeah. face. I, I uh, remember that as a kid. <laughs> the stink face. Stink yes, face. I always yeah, yeah. had a thing for Rikishi. I mean, I that's, always... that's where that list really <laughs> took a turn for the first. Did it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, now, <laughs> now, you will get some of your people, I guarantee you, would be like, oh, great call on Rikishi, Bob. <laughs> and number one with. Yeah, Rikishi. that's just, that is something. <laughs> Above Hulk Hogan, Rikishi. Wow. You guys are such pricks, man. Because I no, no, to the no. Plate and I said, wait a no, minute, wow. wait a minute. I said the list was great. Up until yeah, it was Rikishi. actually way better than I thought. Yes, yes, agreed. I thought it was going to be much worse. So had much I put, worse. let me ask you something. Had I put Rikishi at five and then gave that rest of the list, would I have yeah, shot at winning that? Was- that? No, you're not going to win. Rikishi her. kills you. I mean, Rikishi yeah. shouldn't be in a top 100 wrestler. <laughs> Is that, you know, in all, are you being serious? Yeah. Yeah. It's not a good pick. Yeah. Especially I always love the Rikishi. But he loved the stink face and you got to respect. I got that. such a kick out of that. Um, yep. All right, Joey Cole, I'm, I'm, ready, to, over I'm to you. ready to run with this thing. And I think, by the way, I don't see any way in, in any that is any Canada's world list can't that my list can be beat. This is a this is every week. It's Bob, every is this week, not every it's, week? It's Bob? every top to bottom. Week. I stand by my list. I think it always do. Problem. Okay. I'm, you know, I'll, well, I'll give the list and then we can all decide. All right. Yep. So number five, give me the Rock. Okay, mm. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Electric. Number four, I I could have put him higher. I think this guy revolutionized characters for wrestling, and his like character is just so cool and just unlike anything else you'd ever seen. Number four is Undertaker, and he's just an unbelievable wrestler. His persona, everything he brings, it's just unmatched. Number three, I'm going to go with Hulk Hogan. I think the Hulkamaniac is just... He will never die. He had many different forms. He came back as Mr. America. And then he was in, you know, NW, all the, all the, all that stuff. I mean, he was just unbelievable. Then you have the old school Hulk Hogan being Andre the giant. I mean, he's just legendary. Probably bear down. You'd say the first true, like superstar wrestler. Yes. Yes. Um, At number two, we want to go legendary. And again, some people say maybe he should have been number three, but I just think this guy is, is timeless is rick flair for me yes rick flair the nature boy i mean an entertainer unlike any you'll ever find he'll make you laugh he'll make you fucking cry he's just unbelievable and just even when he was old he was like in his 60s he was still bringing it every night and then number one for me is stone cold steve austin i think there's something about the rattlesnake when he came out as you know when i was a younger kid you know and you heard that glass shatter and you just looked over. I mean, it was so electrifying to watch this guy come out on a Zamboni, come out crushing beers and just like, he was so electric. Like raw is war. When you had stone cold at the heat of it with the, with the, you know, all the things he had against McMahon. And then, you know, it was just unbelievable to watch. So for me, I think stone cold is, is, is number one. And I mean, I just, 
If I had to do, if I had to do an honorable mention, by the way, mm. my honorable mention would be, oh Jesus, it's tough. It would be between Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Like, give me, mm. give me no. Bret Hart me, as my honorable mention. By the way, I think he's awesome. No, and he's the, Canadian. That's the Canadian bond. Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. As a guy who's out of it, okay. Do you have any issue with that list? No. Is there is there a certain spot where you have any issue with? No. Those? And in fact, I waited to hear if he, Joe was going to go before me because our lists are almost identical. So I'm going to make a substitution just to vary a little bit. But no, that list is that list is okay. good. I I personally would have a little bit of the order changed towards the top, but the list itself is great. It's a great list. Let it rip, Mikey B. Okay, so the changes that I got to make now, and it's going to be a bold play, but I have to do it. At number five, I'm going to put Macho Man Randy Savage. I'm going to put Macho Man really? Randy Savage because I thought in terms of in-ring talent, Macho Man Randy Savage was a better wrestler than a lot of the guys that have been mentioned so far. He was a better worker in his prime than, than honestly, than Stone Cold was, than Hulk Hogan was. Just a better technical wrestler on top of the fact that nobody cut a promo quite. Yes, those guys did. But you want to talk about a guy who was like pure electricity cutting yeah, promos. Was, yeah. Macho man was fucking. I mean, Cutsy kind of sounds like him right now. Oh, yeah. I lost my <laughs> voice in uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Macho yeah. Man at five. Give me Undertaker at four. The longevity on the Undertaker mm -hmm. alone. Uh, his character, like Joe said, he went from being like just this like gothic undertaker dead man persona then he was like a biker. a biker and then he came back he had many different like changes in his character over the years and he was just a mainstay and the guy wrestled till he was fucking 100 um and he was at the top of his game all the time always got a pop out of the crowd get people love him Give me Nature Boy at three, Ric Flair at number three, um, you know, transcended every single promotion that he went to from NWA to WCW to WWF. I mean, this guy couldn't miss no matter where he was. He was the prime drawing guy. Any any promotion that he went to, another guy who could not miss on promotions and still to this day at 80 something, whatever years old he is nice. parties struts around, makes he's people awesome. hysterically laugh. He's just awesome. I mean, he's just he's he's awesome. Stone Cold, number two. I got Stone Cold at number two. Really? Um, I love Stone Cold. Stone Cold, to me, uh, transcended that entire era of wrestling and paved the way for a guy like The Rock to kind of come into his own with his, with his like shtick that The Rock had. I don't think The Rock would have been The Rock if it were not for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold was the first like anti-hero, I feel like, in wrestling where he really wasn't supposed to be liked, but all of a sudden the crowd just became such a fan of him, even though he was trying to be an asshole all the time. People love that. And that changed that entire era of wrestling. Like to where, the Watts and the Yaz and yes, all that shit. People changed their entire attitude. They started rooting for the bad guys. They started rooting for Austin. They started rooting for the Generation X, all those guys. They started rooting for the bad guys. Austin is the cause of that. Stone Cold it too. And then number one has got to be Hulkamania. It has to be Hulk Hogan. Without Hulk Hogan, uh, and Vince McMahon, yes, did everything possible to push Hulk Hogan to where he went. But without Hulk Hogan, I just the, the wrestling would have never became what it is, the multi-billion dollar worldwide business that it is without Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was was the cause of that. Hulk Hogan will tell you that's because of Andre the Giant and what he did for him at that WrestleMania. But yeah, Hulk Hogan was. is the reason that wrestling is where it is today. Honorable mention for me, speaking of Andre the Giant, is Andre the Giant. For me, that's my honorable mention. Cutsy, do you have any issues from that end? No, I I mean his list is really good. Macho Man Randy Savage at five is is I, I can see it. Uh, I mean, but there's I mean the thing is there's so many other wrestlers that there's you could so put many at good five. Wrestlers. There's you so could many put guys wrestlers. like Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. Yep. You yep. could even say Triple H for you some say people. Triple H, you could say, yeah, yeah. You could I mean, say there's Roddy, a lot of guys, Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Piper. A lot of people say, loved lot of Ultimate guys. Warrior. I mean, there's a lot of guys that you could put at, and five is kind of like the cusp. So it it's is. like the bottom of the list. So like, yeah, no, I have no issues with that. It's it bear down clearly is a wrestling fan and like that shows. And I think it's just going to come down to like the nitty gritty of like who likes who at what point. I took yeah. Stone Cold yeah. at number one. Um, if I'm being honest, I think you know, Hulk Hogan, the number one makes a lot of sense, but for me, like stone cold was just the most, like I tuned in to watch Raw's war because of stone cold, Steve Austin. Like, well, I'll yeah, I this. just remember as a kid seeing like the first wrestling I ever saw as a little kid was VHS tapes. And it was like, 
Hulk Hogan beating the Iron Sheik in Madison Square Garden for the WWF title. There's when I was no like a little little generations kid. of wrestling. Like yes. you even like like the Roddy Roddy Piper and the British yeah. Bulldog and like oh. all those guys oh, yeah. were awesome. And then there was a big changing of the guard into the '90s, and then you had Mankind, yep. and you had yeah. Like, and, I mean, and listen, Foley could have made the list quite easily. Mankind's too, another guy could have yep. easily made the. Uh, yep. You would be a lower end level, yes. but like. Yep. There's yep. just so many good characters. Like Bobby, I feel you bad got Rikishi. You know, you got Rikishi, <laughs> and Look, he needed to be discussed. And I'm glad Bob. You, I'm a little upset Rikishi didn't make it at least into the honorable mention. <laughs> Who's your honorable mention, Bob? A name that I that I have off of my head. I Go mean, ahead. Ric Flair. Of course, I know. So maybe I would throw Ric Flair in there. Booker T <laughs> is a name that okay. that sits the with me. The Spinner Rudy. Yeah, I remember Spinner Booker T a lot. I remember for I had GameCube and there was a WWE game that we used to play and I was terrible at it, probably why I don't like wrestling. But yeah, Booker <laughs> T was a name that sat with me. And I'll tell you this, after Mikey V's disastrous chip top five, although according to Mikey V, everybody disagrees with us cold cuts and we're the no, ones No, 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 I never said that. Again, <laughs> this is a pretzel job. This is a pretzel job. So everyone knows oh, it's a pretzel alert. Is, so I'm going to get a big, a big pretzel fake one. And I'm going to hold it up every time Bob does this. I never said that. I said people supported the scoops play and the scoops play alone. Everyone roasted my list. That was fine. I bounced back, won the sandwich top five, and here we are rolling I'm into right. another week. Cuts, he, cuts. That's we, uh, there's this guy on Instagram and he works with Doing Things Media. He's great. His, his name is Grill Guy on Instagram. He's a riot. He sent in a group <laughs> chat to me and Mikey V last night and he sent me us a picture and he goes, Mikey V, I got your back with the Tostitos. Turns out he didn't have the Tostitos scoops. It yeah, was like the scoops. regular Tostitos. Oh, so he my response, even... my response was no scoops, like, no can. lime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out, well, out and you that. know what he said, Joe? He said the scoops had been had been ransacked. They were gone. <laughs> yeah, so he had to divert that. back to the traditional <laughs> chip. Oh, I'm Thank sure you, that Bob. played out. Listen, Bob. boys, we got uh, we got a lot to celebrate. Again, Joey Coldcuts, I mean, you talk about a guy that deserves what he's got coming. And Amen, really, bro. congratulations. Again, yeah, man. just Thank has you, boys. paid his dues to get to where he's at. And, and then we got to get Mikey V. And Mikey V is going to be coming we right the podcast on the Spotify just and just v blow it up. Fine. Let's and blow the pot up. Just keep let's, blowing the pot up. Yeah, guys. folks. I mean, spread it around. Like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. We appreciate you guys. Yes. As always, we got a monster weekend coming out. Uh, Mikey V. Hosting. Content's so, going to be great. I, a lot of con- be great, lot of Can you do me a favor, by the way? Can I just sure. ask one favor? Oh, here like when goes. Mikey mm. V. No, it's going to be really good. I want okay. I want it saved in the archives. When like oh, the yeah, first time yeah. Mikey V. and I meet and like we yeah. hug it out. Can you, oh, like, bro, I'll, you have the camera me. rolling because I I'll think have, it's going to be special. It's going to be emotional. The camera and I think yeah. he's going to he's going to tower over me. So it's going to be really crazy. It's crazy that you guys haven't met yet. It's crazy. He's a very good friend of mine. I've never met him once. Um. Yeah, and you know, something to look forward to too that I was thinking about. I mean, don't get me wrong, content this weekend is going to be off the charts. The podcast Tuesday is going to be a lot of fun because there's going to be a lot to go over. Um, (laughs) So look out for that. Uh, Folks, we love you. We appreciate you, fellas. I love you both. Um, Until next time, we will see you in New Jersey this weekend, forever and always. That's the Brilliantly Dumb Show, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.